Alright, I'm going to hit the engine button. Lean, and then lean assist. Alright, I'm going to try to, I'm trying to hold the camera at the same time. But we're going to lean it. To pull back nice and, try to do it nice and steadily and smoothly. And if you see those, there's the right one. There's the, and that's the rich side. So we got to go on the lean side. There's the lean side on that one. That's really low. It doesn't like that very much. So I don't think these are real accurate because I got a couple of probes wacky. We would go riching. Fourteen four. We're gonna. I'm gonna set fourteen four. Just to. That's zero. It said twenty. That's the. That's that is twenty degrees on the rich side. So that's running twenty degrees rich, which is not really what I want. And you can see it's not real accurate. Did the right one the same thing. As I richened it up. Now they're both on the lean side, according to the peak thing. So let's now go to 14.4, if it shows about 20 degrees. As you can see, this one's about 17, 22. So we're going to 14.4. I'm going to set it right at 14.4 if I can. So sensitive, just barely touch it, it moves. I'm to hold the camera and move this at the same time. You can see this one is going to be close to 20. Right side is showing minus 11. Where I'm, what I'm getting at is, I'm not sure I trust the, uh, every single. You're, you're kind of counting on every single probe being accurate, super perfect. But you can see ballpark, very close to what we want. I'm going to go with the chart and set 14.4 aside. Baron 3, Delta Delta, contact Seymour approach 119.7. 19.7, Delta Delta, good day. Got a, good day. Got a trick on the button with the wrong hand. 19.7, flip it. See more approach, Baron 683, Delta Delta 6000. Baron 683, Delta Delta, see more approach, see more on 3004. 3004, 3 Delta Delta. Baron 311, copper golf, contact, one's going to approach on 135. There we go. There's 143 aside. You can see my temperatures, minus 20-something, minus 11. These probes are jumping around. Thank so that's why I would say I would trust the chart. It's, see, lean assist works. This airplane, the engines right now are right at, or about 100 hours shy of TBO. We're going to, we are already ordered new motors to be installed at the annual. So, you can see the basic premise behind it. I think it would work fine to get you in the range, but as you can see, you're kind of jumping around. If I trusted that temperature, that saying we're on the lean side, saying this one is way too lean, but it's not. It's just obviously a probe or two. It's not, you know, it's not like they calibrate them. <laughs> I mean, they are what they are. And probes are kind of expensive to just start randomly replacing them. Anyways, there you have it. Using the lean assist. Still like using the chart better, I believe. Set my 14.3. We'll keep tweaking it because it'll jump around a little. The fuel flow was pretty accurate, though. Like I said, the probes, you know, there's. 
cylinder head temperature probes and exhaust gas temperature probes. Six of them on each, you know, so six, 12, 24 probes in total. Are they all going to be perfectly accurate all the time? You can see a couple peaks, so I don't know how trustworthy they are. And then peak temperatures on the left engine is 163, the right is 177. That's, you know, a good 10 degrees. I would say it's probably a probe issue because I think they're running closer to this 160 something on the lean side. So there you have it. And then I just hit the back button to get back out of that to display my normal engine gauges. That's it for now. We'll see you on the approach into this flight.